Greetings everybody. So this is Kume, our latest Warframe. She is absolutely disgusting. She is probably the strongest Warframe in the game. Um, I think right now in terms of what she can do and how she can do it. Her build is really interesting because it doesn't scale like a normal build. It doesn't really need strength, doesn't really need duration or efficiency or things like that. It all comes from her second ability, Omikuji. I will get into her abilities right now. Um, but yeah, she is absolutely disgusting. So onto her abilities very quickly. Her passive, every 60 seconds, one of Kume's weapons will inflict random status effects for 60 seconds. That is absolutely disgusting. It is essentially secondary encumber on every weapon type. So primary, secondary, melee, they all get secondary encumber and it is absolutely disgusting. It makes weapons with low status have high status just randomly. Um, it makes your condition overload, your galvanized aptitude um, and uh, galvanized status from primary. I've forgotten the bloody mod name, but it is disgusting. It makes your condition overload mods absolutely disgusting. Um, just passively gives them way more damage. And that's her passive alone. The passive alone is fantastic. Her first ability, uh, Kumihimo, it is her weakest ability in my opinion. Basically, it does exactly what her four does. It uh, gives status to an area, so you throw out these lines, enemies run through them and gain status effect. In my opinion, I think this is quite weak. I think if you're gonna in inflict status, the passive is more than enough and your four is more than enough, but you get the, the first ability. So this is the one I subsume. Her Omikuji, her second ability, this is her easily her core part of her kit. So because she doesn't scale with normal strength and things like that, this is where she gets her scaling and damage. So you roll all of the Daviri decrees from Omikuji and you need to do a little challenge to unlock them. And they are usually airborne kills, headshot kills, uh, inflict status and kills, um, far away close up kills and things like that. So I'll get onto that in a minute, but that's pretty much what that ability does. Omamori is her survivability. Basically, in a nutshell, this is a 50% evasion with a heal. Um, you, the heal was on a cooldown, but the evasion persists through that heal. It just loses a, a stack of Omam or uh, a charm. Um, and it is absolutely fantastic. I will explain how I'm utilizing this better in a, uh, when I go through the build. Her ult, Bunraku, essentially is a status priming CC ability. You throw out these uh, puppeteer strings and you inflict tons of random status effects based on the dice rolls. And it is pretty, pretty good. Um, you're not always guaranteed to get really high status, but sometimes you can. Um, but it is just an all round effective uh, tool. So, with all that in mind, onto the build. As you can, as you saw from the clip at the beginning, this is absolutely disgusting. Um, you are able to tank and survive in high late game missions. You are f able to face tank things, pretty much go AFK. It is pretty disgusting. Um, most of the things on here are f relatively cheap to get or free to play. Let's say free to play is a, a term. Um, except the arcanes of course the arcanes are going to set you back but you don't need them necessarily they're just nice to have so onto mecha empowered and mecha pulse these are part of the mecha set two of the other two of the other mods to complete the set are on my kubro i'll explain in a minute but essentially the companion marks a target you kill that target and it inflicts the status from that target to everybody else and that's what you saw at the beginning of this video it's very disgusting it enables you to insta complete omikuji missions so you kill one enemy, and for the price of that one enemy with, that in, with the status inflicted, you are able to get your whole mission completed. Status priming challenges. On the flip side to that, when you have airborne or sliding kills, um, Burial's Anguish is the best mod for you. It gives you gravity while aim gliding, it gives you aim glide and wall latch duration, and you don't need to slide um, on the floor to enable sliding kills. Um, what I mean by that is this one mod, alone it means that you are able to wall latch and wall latch for a long time you're able to float for a long time and you can aim glide slide and what that means is i'll just show you in the sim simulacrum so you can aim glide and then slide in the aim glide and you can slide for a long 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 time and it's very consistent and it's very handy and that one mod covers all of her airborne or parkour challenges so those three mods are enabling omakuji to maximize its potential uh, to get the missions done as quick as possible 
Um, what I'm going for for survivability is uh, Vigilante Vigor and Fast Deflection. As you can see, her shields aren't great. 222 shields, it's not fantastic. What I'm looking for though is the shield charge delay. So, with Fast Deflection and Vigilante Vigor, I'm nearly at the cap, or I think I'm at the cap. And shields recharge automatically uh, with a delay of 0.2 seconds. And what's enabling that shield to kick in is my evasion. So I have 50% evasion, obviously, from... It's not proper evasion, but it's it, it negates the damage. And that little time to breathe gives my 0.2 second uh, shield gate time to kick in. And I get my shields back. And it is absolutely disgusting. You are able to tank beautifully for a long time um, in terrible conditions you can tank for probably like 15 20 seconds and just face tank for free um, obviously in ideal situations where you're just flying around shooting enemies enemies are stunned with status effects and you're only taking damage really from um, over guard enemies that can't be cc'd uh, this just keeps you alive perfectly i have adaptation on here as well for the status effects and rolling guard so i can cleanse uh, when i need to it's again rolling guard is a free slot you can use Anything you want in this slot, really. I think you don't necessarily need Rolling Guard. It's just nice to have. Um, I have Arcane Vitality for some HP and for the heat, the heat effect to multiply. I have Archon Stretch for the same reason. Uh, the range is nice for her fourth ability, and it is very good because when you inflict electricity, you gain energy over uh, X amount of seconds, and you are inflicting so much status that electricity is going to guarantee pretty much one of them and you'll be re refreshing your own energy. To cap that off, I'm using Equilibrium because uh, Equilibrium is really good for some decrees and it also it's really good on its own just for free energy, extra energy, just to keep keep you alive. And I'm that's pretty much it for the mods. I'm using Arcane Guardian. Arcane Guardian for armor. The reason I'm using armor is because a lot of the decrees are asking for uh, armor essentially what this build is trying to do is to when when you get a decree you want to make sure that it is uh, good or it is relevant so the build has encompassed pretty much everything that cover is covered in the decrees there is no shield tanking in the decrees it's all things to do with armor you get x strength based on armor you get more corrosive damage based on armor things like that so having arcane guardian gives you that armor stat uh, that you can then utilize with your decrees arcane aegis is there for uh, shield recharge delay and just gives you that extra bit of survivability but you don't need uh, arcane aegis it's nice to have but this isn't these are both filler slots they can be anything you want they can be more augmented because it's fairly common you can have any kind of arcanes in here i'm just using guardian for the armor for the decrees i'm using aegis for the survivability on to the weapons i'm using the boltor prime and this is my build for it it's a cold uh, and puncture based status shredding weapon um, I have hunting munitions on here, although yes, technically in the incarnate form you don't need hunting munitions, it is just nice to have with the high crit with my Riven, so more slash uh, procs is fantastic for me, really happy with that. Galvanized Chamber and Aptitude, obviously, because Aptitude is fantastic for her. I'm using Vigilante Fervor for high fire rate uh, and to enhance her critical hits. I'm using Rhyme Rounds for Cold and Shivering Contagion, which is its own status spreading effect. Um, this can be replaced with anything else. I'm using Primary Frostbrite because my damage is so uh, high with Galvanized Aptitude with uh, when your passive rolls onto your primary. You absolutely don't need any extra damage than that. You are just slinging status effects left, right, and center. And I'm using Stabilizer and Vital Sense for critical damage. Onto the melee weapon, I've gone for the opposite kind of thing. So instead of high fire rate, high status, I've gone for the opposite. High base damage, heavy attacks, and finishers. This build, obviously, if you know my videos, you know I love the Sanctum Magistar, it's my favourite weapon. Uh, this build pretty much is for heavy attacks and with with Toxin on there, uh, in case I need to proc Toxin as one of, a ch one of the challenges. Uh, this thing hits once, they die, job done. And that's why I love it. Also, with the Decrees, there are tons of finishers. Uh, finisher Decrees, so on Finisher, gain X damage that spreads to everywhere. On Finisher, gain 500 armour. On Finisher do a dance and the same thing happens so and and there's tons of decrees with heavy attack so on heavy attack gain this gain that gain everything else so 
The melee weapon is for is built and designed around the decree, so when you roll one of those decrees, it is really good for your melee weapon. Of course, you can use uh, any other thing here. You can use um, hate. You can use harmony. Harmony is fantastic uh, scythe for, for this warframe. When the status effects are applied, she is going to absolutely spread them and uh, kill enemies instantly with harmony. Anything goes here. This is just my build. Uh, you don't need to use this one. As I am, I'm using Melee Crescendo. It is nice. Um, on top of that, to couple with the Sancti Magistar finishers, I'm using Vazarin. And more importantly, I'm using Vazarin's Void Snare. So when you use Void Snare, it groups all the enemies together and opens them up to finishers on ground finishers. So when you walk over to them, you can just spam your button and you just constantly re uh, refinishing them again and again and again. And it's absolutely disgusting. Um, so there's my finisher heavy attack. And then for the secondary weapon, this is a primer. It sounds weird that you're going to need a primer on Kume. You don't. What this is, is for when you get those challenges like deal electricity damage. Because my Boltor does cold and puncture. And my melee weapon does sometimes uh, toxin. Not all the time. It's a low status weapon. I need something that can apply those status effects quickly and efficiently and then to spread them so I can get the Omakuji mission done. This is why I have a primer. I have secondary encumber on here which does compound with uh, her passive. It is absolutely disgusting. Again, I'm using a Riven with heat and corrosive uh, and magnetic with entropy on the Sino Gamma Core and Karnan. Obviously, I'm going to uh, trigger a magnetic explosion and it gives my, me extra energy. It's very, very handy. It's very, very good utility, and it does enough damage on its own to, to carry this this whole thing. Uh, I don't use the incarnate form, but I do use uh, the normal form for priming. So onto the Kubro, I have a Huros Kubro uh, for the Mecha recharge uh, for the Mecha mods. Obviously, I'm using a invisibility uh, kind of style of survivability. I'm using Covert Bomb with the finishes. You gain invisibility. Uh, that's, that won't be disrupted. I'm using Duplex Bond for multiple companions. Again, adds to survivability. I'm using Stalk for invisibility. And I just have some other utility on here. So I have Tenacious Bond, um, which uh, which you can add Bite with your Hurus weapon. I'll get onto in a second and show you that. And uh, that essentially is giving me a Crit Multiplier. I have shields here and reinforced bond to give me fire rate. I have synth fiber because one of the decrees drops tons of health orbs. You, you, you're going to gain bonus armor. It's just really helpful to have. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's the that's the uh, Kubro and her, and his weapons. The weapons aren't particularly that hard. I have four mods on here. I don't have any others. I don't think there are any others. Maybe there are. I'm not sure. But I have Mecha Overdrive on here, obviously, and I have Bite, Hunter Synergy, and more, because that's all I can fit. And that's the build, guys. It's pretty uh, pretty weird. It's a weird build, but as you can see, it does the job, and it is absolutely disgusting. And she does such interesting things, and I really like the Omikuji ability and the fact that we now have to fit the decrees around a new meta. And it is just very interesting to play around with. I also forgot to mention that I am using Ophanim Eyes from Jade. Uh, you definitely don't need it. Uh, this is the uh, helmet ability I'm using. You can use anything here. i probably say you don't need Nourish because the decrees give you a lot of energy regen. And you prime viral anyway. So really what's the point in Nourish? Rage is a... Uh, Rage. Uh, Roar is a really good ability here. Uh, Eclipse is even better, I think, because certain degrees with the armor give you 500% strength. And with 500% strength, you're easily going to cap out uh, Eclipse, and you're going to have extra damage reduction when needed, and you're also going to have lots of damage. You can use anything here. There's tons of cool abilities. I'm using Ophanimize because it gives me armor strip, uh, which I don't have, because uh, I don't have the any uh, Archon shards. The only Archon shard I have is the yellow one for casting speed, just for convenience. You don't need any others, um, but also you can use. Uh, I'm also using Ophanimize for freezing the enemies, slowing them down, so it enables headshots to be easier. But there you are. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you again soon. Peace.